and tamp down those rights. Let's bring in our panel now to talk more about this. Columnist for Newsday, Ellis Hennigan and managing editor of the Shark Tank, Javier Manjarez. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, good to see you guys. Ellis, let's start with you. Uh, th that gentleman there talking about a patriotic duty to go to the movie theater to watch this film. Uh, what do you think about all that? Well, I'm sure Sony likes that yeah, talk, right? right? We would like to command all Americans to spend money watching this uh, this comedic movie. I, listen, it, it's kind of working out nicely, isn't it? Uh, this thing really doesn't break down along the traditional left-right lines that people like to impose on these debates. I still haven't heard anybody in America who thinks that we ought to be bowing down to the, to the views of a dictator in North Korea. You know what? The movie's going to come out. It's going to make a, a ton, a ton of money. Some of this patriotic stuff is a little like kind of sugary, hypey. But uh, hey, you know what? They made a movie. They found an interesting way to get it out, and we, uh, and we laughed at the dictator. Win, win, win. And what do you think, Javier? Do you think this is a kind of, did it, st did it stink a little bit, you know, now that it's been out? They said they weren't going to release it. Some folks are saying this is all a big publicity stunt. Do you buy that? Well, I think it turned into a publicity stunt, not by their choosing, but it, it also, it, it's t very telling that um, how, how much, how vulnerable uh, uh, corporations are to foreign hackers, uh, North, North Korea, China. We, he, we've heard it all along for months, and I, I agree with, uh, with, uh, with Ellis on, on everything. But, look, it, it'll make a lot of money, like you say, but I'm really looking forward to the American Sniper movie. Uh, yeah, that one also <laughs> out now in theaters. Nice little segue so uh, to so the American... Ellis. <laughs> to the American Sniper movie. Uh, Ellis, uh, let's also talk about, you know, we got a clip of President Obama on the golf course. He's on vacation. We're not trying to pile on him for that. But, uh, you know, he's saying he's glad that the movie came out. How do you think he, he handled this whole situation? He handled it great, right? I mean, if there's anyone we can point your fingers at, it's Sony, right? I mean, they blinked. They panicked. They, along with the, the chicken, and let's call them chicken theater chain owners across America, you know, we're too scared to take a chance. And they're the ones who look bad. I mean, it seemed to me like Obama handled it great. He was very clear about his views. Sony eventually came around and it turns out, uh, hey, maybe everyone agrees he was right. Now, he is on vacation. He did seem very relaxed, Javier. But do you think that he was laughing kind of when he answered that question about the hat because he's got more planned for the North Koreans? Well, I mean, well, Obama, when did he answer? He, he was a little late to the game in, in, in coming around and saying that, uh, that Sony uh, dropped the ball at, by them not releasing the movie in time or for Christmas because how, what does that say about our, our intelligence agency that we had a, did they know? When did they know? That's the big question is if they knew prior, why didn't they notify Sony before Sony made the decision? Look, at the end of the day, this is a big black eye on us. It makes us look really bad, but uh, let's, hope he, let's hope his, his, uh, his golf game improves on, on Hawaii. Now, Ellis, uh, we'd have to assume there might be a sequel here to this movie. Uh, again, you know, maybe not the intention from the onset, but do you think Sony would be remiss if they did not include a sequel to this movie now, considering the subplot uh, that happened outside well, of the I'm film itself? Well, uh, I'm sure the dollars... Are there. Can, can I make one to sort of off-agenda comment about this? I still think, despite it all, Sony was a little uh, reckless, let's use that word, okay. in the plot of this movie. I don't think that movie uh, companies ought to be putting out films where we joke about the killing of real-life foreign heads of state. We wouldn't like it if they did a movie about our president that way. And despite all the First Amendment stuff, I'm totally on board with that. But I don't know if we should go around the world and kill live uh, heads of state, whether that's really a good thing for Hollywood to be doing. Yeah, but then, but then movie theater companies, they do, they do practice character assassination on, on, in movies, as we've seen with George W. Bush, Sarah Palin, and so on and so forth. Oh, well, well, suggesting they be killed. Yeah, I know. I know yeah, what you're well, saying, Ellis. Come on. Well, gentlemen, let's, let's uh, take a brief uh, pause here. We'll pick up on this conversation. What is inside the lines? What's outside the lines for these movie, movie studios? Uh, we're going to continue on our conversation. Ellis Hennigan, Javier Manjarez sticking around for us. We're going to talk about some other issues uh, as well, including a woman who was arrested for trying to take down a satanic display. It, of course, it happened in Florida. I know Javier has been following that story very closely, so we're going to take a closer look at that uh, as a war on a satanic holiday display plays out in Tallahassee, Florida. We've got much more to come here for you on the program. As I mentioned, Ellis Hennigan, Javier Manjarez are going to stick around. We have more from our political panel coming up right after this. America's Forum continues here on Newsmax TV. Please do stick around. We'll be right back with more after this short commercial break.